just been dropped into one of the most beautiful places on Earth. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a journey along the majestic Rootburn track. Seeing as you're waiting to take off, I'm going to take you through a few of the safety drills I've picked up on my adventures. And even if you've been flying for years, the pay to watch carefully. I've learned some things in the wild that you might not have seen before. First up, make sure anything you're carrying is safely stuffed in the lockers overhead. Lockers in the wild are pretty hard to find. This will do. Or if it's something useful you'd like to keep handy, you can slide it under the seat in front of you. You're going to have to follow any directions from the crew and any signs that light up overhead. If the seatbelt sign does light up, nip back to your seat and clip into your seatbelt. Should fit snugly and be low across your hips like this. They recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight. But... If you do need to get up while I'm chasing lunch, undo the seatbelt by lifting the flap. Ooh. If an oxygen mask suddenly drops down in front of you, you could use it as a portable loo, but a much better idea is to pull down on the mask, place it over your nose and mouth, and tighten by pulling on both sides of the elastic. If you're seated with children, like a good scout, be prepared by putting your own mask on first before helping with theirs or others who may need a hand. Don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate, oxygen will flow through these tubes automatically. If an emergency were to happen during takeoff or landing, either brace yourself on the seat in front of you or place your hands on your head with your elbows on the outside of your thighs and your feet flat on the floor. Something you can always rely on that is within easy reach of your seat is a life jacket. You can find yours right here under your seat. That's super easy to put on while seated. Take it out of its pouch, put it over your head, clip the straps together and pull tight. Pulling this handily placed red tab inflates the jacket. Chocked away. But don't tug it until you've left the aircraft. And if you need more air, blow into this mouthpiece. If you've got an infant, flight attendants will be on hand with a life jacket for them too. If you need to light up on the journey, just hold back. You should know smoking is banned in every nook and cranny of the aircraft. <coughs> and of course, that includes all the loos on board too. If needed, there's escape path lighting to guide you to the nearest exit when it's dark. Oh. It's a rude awakening to the taste buds. Your crew are now pointing out your exits. So take a quick scan of the area and count the number of roasts from your seat. Keep in mind that your nearest exit may be behind you. Power off all electronic devices during takeoff and landing. Transmitting devices like mobile phones can play havoc with aircraft systems and must not be used in flight unless you switch them to flight mode. And make sure that all cellular Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability is off. Hi. OK, it's almost time to wrap this up, but finally, before takeoff, click your tray table back, make sure your seat back is upright, your armrest down, and your window shade is fully up. Fasten your seatbelt, stow your screen and remote, and ensure those electronic devices are definitely powered off. Or else. So if you've missed any of the adventure, take a good look at your safety card and the seat pocket in front of you. From the airline that's committed to keeping New Zealand beautiful, thanks for coming on this journey with us. Have a great flight and hi to my.